If there were some sales tips or sales strategies for in-home salespeople to be successful, what would they be? I'm Scott Silverbelt. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California, on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about in-home sales. Now, here's the thing. If you are doing any in-home sales, where you're talking roofing, windows, heating and air, plumbing, electrical, swimming pools, anything along those lines, you are going to end up at a home and that homeowner, that buyer, that potential buyer is going to try to push you around and tell you what to do. And they're going to try to tell you how to run things. Now, I will tell you that I know some of the most successful people when it comes to doing in-home sales and they do not let this happen. They have control of the call. They let the buyer know how things are going to go, but they do not let the person push them around. And there's a big reason why I put this as video number two is because anytime that I ride with a new salesperson, what happens is they want to be pleasing, they want to make sure that they get good reviews, they want to make sure that they close the deal, and because of that, they let people go too far with them. Because of that, they, they let that buyer push them around, especially if there's a sell something going on, especially if the salesperson needs to make the sale. They don't put their foot down. They don't set the, the, the agenda as things need to go. Okay, So you will find that in the world of in-home sales, there is always a guy or a girl who they want to get three bids and they get burned out on getting the three bids, so you may be number three. And they've talked to two people, and it could have taken three or four or five, six, seven, eight, ten hours of their life, and they're like, hey, just get on with it. I don't need a presentation. I don't need you to tell me what's going on, and I'm going to let you know. Typically, if you go down this path and you agree to this, and you let that buyer or that homeowner tell you what you need to do and how you're going to run things, it usually does not end well. It typically does not end well, especially if you're brand new. So when it comes to in-home sales, you really can't let the buyer push you around. You got to do what you're there for. And the best bet for you is if you have a presentation that you're going to give, is you go through the presentation, that you go through the steps of your process. And I'm going to let you know that there are going to be buyers, probably about 20% of them, that they're going to push you around and they're going to do everything possible so you can't do your job. And I'm going to let you know what it's going to result in. It's a round number. It's typically zero. Zero. Right? That's a zero most of the time when they're like, here's what it's got to do. And so like, if you listen to Orrin Clough, it's frame control. They're exerting their frame on you saying, these are all the reasons why you need to listen to me and you're not being an expert at that point. And that's what happens. You're no longer a sales expert. You're no longer the expert in your industry. You're letting that push person push you around. Okay. So you have to know to be exceptional in home sales, the sales tip, the sales advice, the sales strategy that I'm giving you, whatever way you want to explain it, uh, you have to have a certain amount of control to make the sale happen. It just, it's just the way that it is, okay? So you've got one thing to do from here, just one thing. And that one thing is to find the subscribe button. It's like on the sides here, over here, over here, in the box down below, find the subscribe button. Because the cool thing about that is when you hit the subscribe button, every time a new video comes out, you're gonna get an update that says, hey, Scott Bell sent out a new video. You should watch it, which you should. You should watch it, right? That would be pretty cool. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.